thinking about using a face recognition attendance system like this, then you need to install Node.js, React, Express and Tailwind. Now, install Node.js from their official website. Next, open the project folder. You can download it from the description or the comments. As here we have the front end, the back end, and the Python API for face recognition. Here, open command prompt and navigate to the front end folder because we cannot install libraries directly through the file explorer. For that, we use the command line. Now, open the front end folder and install the required libraries, including Tailwind CSS, using the following command. So, by typing npm run dev, you can start the front end development server. Copy the given URL and paste it in the browser. Now that the front end is running, let's start the back end server by installing the required libraries such as Mongoose, Cirrus, and Express. Just like we did for the front end, open command prompt, navigate to the project folder, then into the server folder, and install the necessary libraries. Now that all the back end libraries are installed, we can start the backend server using the command node server.js. This will start the server, and now both the front end and back end are running and successfully connected. Now that both the front end and back end are up and running smoothly, we can proceed to start the Python API, which is responsible for handling the face enrollment process as well as performing face recognition tasks to integrate with the system. Similarly, just like we did with the front end and back end, open the Python face API folder from the project directory using CMD, and then run the following commands to start the APIs python enroll.py for face enrollment and python recognize underscore api.py for face recognition, allowing the system to fully integrate all components. Now that all parts of the application, the front-end, back-end, and Python API, are running, you can begin enrolling student faces by logging into the admin panel. From the dashboard, click on Add Student, enter the student's details, and turn on the camera to complete the face enrollment process. Since I'm recording this video at night, I'm unable to demonstrate the enrollment and recognition steps in real time. However, a full demonstration of the face enrollment and recognition process is available in my previous video on this channel, so be sure to check it out. In this project, we've used MongoDB Atlas Cloud as the database, but you can connect your own database by simply updating the connection URL in the backend code. If you'd like a detailed video on how to set that up, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.